I done the doohickey, the full thing, torsion spring and the doohickey. I've had enough conversations with, with people riding these things in the bush and riding hard who've had the spring disintegrate. Here is the doohickey from a KLR, which is the cam chain tensioner. And what happens is this spring is held under tension only if you remember to adjust it every oil change. Easy enough to do it, it's in, a, it's in the shop manual. The key thing about the Eagle Mike doohickey upgrade, and I have one here still in the case, is it's a tor it becomes a torsion spring, which means that its tension is more consistent throughout its range than a coil spring, and it's less likely to break. Hartshell, Colorado, July 4th, Independence Day. We have the motorcycle repair underway. This bolt has come loose, causing this guy under here to come loose, causing the head to shake. Gotta fix it. Take those things off. Using the fancy tool, putting it in there, then tapping it with the hammer. I have got about a half turn out of that. And now to move this down to clamp it. So the first step was using this to reef it around a little bit and tighten it down. And then with the steering wheel turned, luckily this, with the extension bar, should give me the torque to reef it down and you see it misses the gas tank I didn't need to take the gas tank off the cooling system's not good enough on this motorcycle you have to fill in the gaps increase the efficiency of that stupid little radiator and if you're not moving through the air it's not getting enough airflow to keep the engine cool and if that fan dies like it did for me climbing uphill or through rock gardens this thing just liked to overheat bad problem. 7000 K on this D606 front and it's not starting to scoop too badly. I like the fork brace, didn't cause me a problem. I sealed up the holes and taped them up to keep the mud out, it seemed to work. 